In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to change and use the reporters. I'm gonna start with the simple ones, which are not that much useful, but it's good to know them. And then I'm going to show you JUnit and HTML reports, which are probably the ones you will be using. Especially HTML report generated by Playwright is very good. To use reporters, you can simply add a flag of reporter to your command line script. So let me show you some examples. So open terminal. And let's say you want to run the test. So npx playwright test. We want to use the config. So at playwright config. And also let's use some project. Let's for example use Chromium. And now if you want to add any reporter, you can add one more flag and the name is reporter and just pass it the value. So the first one is for example the line. So let's type line and hit enter. And just to make it a little bit faster, I'm gonna just run the first test so we don't spend much time executing. So put test.only here on the simple basic test and hit enter in the command line. And as you can see, one test passed, but no actual results were displayed. And that's because we are using the line reporter, which is most likely useless one. But it's good to know him. For example, if you don't want to have your uh, terminal full of like logs, etc. The second one is list, which is the one Playwright is using by default. So change the reporter to list and hit enter. And as you can see, it shows you what browser you are running, what test is being executed and the name of the test scenario. So other one you can use is dot. Again, this one is pretty minimalistic. This one will just give you a green or red dot. It depends if your test is passed or failed. Again, not much useful. But right now I'm going to show you a little bit more useful ones. And the first one is JUnit. So type JUnit and hit enter. And as you can see, if you use JUnit, it will create this XML format, which you can then extract and use, for example, in your uh, logs or some monitoring services. But the best one is HTML. So change it to HTML and hit enter. And this one will actually generate the folder called Playwright Report. And inside you can see you have some data and you have the index HTML, which is your actual report. And also Playwright shows you here that you can type npx playwright show report. So you can either type this into the command line and the report will show, but I have already opened it. So let me show you. And this is how does it look like. Basically it will give you all the tests and the timing, the result. And if you click on the test, you can also see the steps and each detail of the code what have been run in the test. So this uh, like logs and the results are pretty useful. You can see a lot about your tests, especially if you are debugging something that failed. So I can definitely recommend you to use this HTML report, which can also be you know automatically generated on your CI CD environment and sent to your, for example, Slack or Microsoft Teams if you are using it, or you can present this to your management as well. So I think that's all for the reporters and we can move to the next topic.